Hey, it's day 213. The Prophet, the source of hope. Many Muslims had become martyrs at Uhud. After the pagans left the battlefield, the Prophet and his army set out for Medina. The women and children welcomed them on the streets. Some of their husbands, fathers and brothers had joined the battle. They were curious about their fate. They were happy when they saw the Prophet healthy and alive, sitting firmly on horseback. One of the women anxiously ran towards the Prophet. She held the robe of his horse. Her dear son, Sa'ad, has become a martyr on the battlefield. But she said, May my father and mother be sacrificed for you, O Messenger of Allah. As long as I see you alive, I don't care what disaster happens to me. I'm happy enough to see you healthy. The Prophet was glad to hear these words from her. He said, O Mother of Sa'ad, good news for you and for your family members. All who are martyrs are gathered in paradise. They have become friends with one another. They are going to request that their Lord allows their mothers into paradise too. No matter how much it made her happy to see the Prophet alive, the pain of losing her son was burning inside her. In order to bear this pain with patience, she requested that the Prophet pray for her. Then he opened his hands and prayed, My Lord, relieve the pain in her heart and in the hearts of her family members make those who survive the martyrs the best of mankind the muslims who returned from uhud went to their homes quietly and painfully the prophet was also sad but hopeful about the future he firmly believed that the truth and those who were truthful would be victorious when the prophet came back home he found Fatima crying over her martyred uncle Hamza and the other Muslims. He hugged her lovingly and calmed her down. He also gave her the good news that until the conquest of Mecca, the Muslims would never again have the experience they had at Uhud. With prayer and patience, they would wait for those days to come.